Three, two, one. Welcome back. Another fun video. I went and grabbed some tools. Trying to see how fast I can clutter up my garage. I got a gigantic air compressor. It's an 80 gallon. It uses this five horsepower motor, which should run amazing because it's got a Chevy sticker on it. I only expect the best from it, you know. I'm gonna clean it up today. Um, I heard it run, we emptied the tank, checked for water, stuff like that. I also got a blast cabinet, which is why I got such a big air compressor. I'm gonna work on this later. It needs new glass. I need new glass up by the light because when you turn the light on, it's you can't see anything. I don't know if it's like an older Harbor Freight setup. I'll modify it and get it to work. And then I think I'm also going to uh, extend this side out i want to be able to at least do uh cross members he gave me a bunch of sand i also got this dust collector which would be nice my neighbors i'm sure will appreciate it and then look at this big boy pump and the reason <laughs> this whole thing is taken apart it is way too heavy to move around let me try to give you a reference of how big this is there is my water bottle that's like a 16 or 17 inch pulley on there it's a five horsepower motor and the reason i went with the older compressor is because this compressor has 23 and a half cfm compared to a lot of the other ones i'm looking at are like 16 and the ingrol rand that i was considering and um i guess i have a motor issues and the older ones built with more attention and quality i'd rather rebuild the older one hopefully getting parts isn't the end of the world i'm gonna clean it up all the air that this pumps runs on a line into your tank your motor sits over here and it is a slider kind of like your alternator so you can adjust your pulleys this thing has so much torque that it has three pulleys this is like lower rpm too so it sounds like a tractor running it's real lopey do, 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 do. Let's see what it looks like inside here. Fairly clean. A little dust build up in here. Some venting in the bottom. So I want to make sure I can clean that up before I put that back on. Just make sure everything looks okay. I'm not, I don't really want to touch on anything. I just want to make sure all the wiring looks decent. The only other reason I really took this off is I'm gonna beat some of these dents out. Left my camera on for an hour and a half, so battery died. Painted this. In the meantime, left the pulley red. It's gonna be gold. I wish this tag was less painted because I would like it just silver. And then I'm gonna paint the ring when I'm done moving everything around. And then I spray paint it on the nuts instead of the rust bullet because uh, it's unreal. Um, I would not suggest uh, painting threads or anything like that with it. Now. Let's get on to the pump. Uh, I'm gonna lift it up, put some boards under it.
went to an auction and picked up some stuff. Cheap. Old paint shop was closing, so. Bunch of rubber hoses, which is always handy to have around. Uh, this is the felt, and if you've followed along on the 36, I actually hand sewed my felt up, so it's kind of nice to have the same stuff. I know these paintbrushes might not seem exciting, but I spent 20 bucks on paintbrushes for the air compressor the other day. I have a bunch of body tags. I have no idea what they go to, but it was in a box, so. I'll probably, uh, you know, maybe take that to Carlisle or something and sell them. Kind of cool, a little Santa Cruz, an old Plymouth hubcap. And then I got this sign, kind of last second, thinking it was an old sign, but some repop sign, you know, but whatever. And then these are all these like little rubber, I don't know if they're using them as little rubber body mount, maybe drill holes in them and run them as little spacers or something, but I got some cool plates. I got some 26. Pennsylvania plates, so I thought that was pretty cool. This is really what I was excited about. They had all these boxes of hardware, and a lot of guys were passing it up, and I thought that was crazy because I bought them for like five dollars a box. <laughs> and if you tell out here, they're selling each fitting for three fifty. And if you've ever done brake lines, you know how much this adds up quick. I had organized these. If I sell them for what they had them for, five three fifty each. That's 560 bucks. That stuff adds up. So I would always suggest you buy it in bulk if you can, if you plan on doing a bunch of these. And it saves me a trip to the hardware store, which is probably more priceless. So I can get things done a lot quicker. You know, in one truck, I might use all my 316 fittings that are even in this box. And I have a lot more fittings that I'm gonna fit in here, but I love how it's organized. And then the rubber grommets, obviously the same thing. It's like, if you need one grommet and you have to, stop what you're doing and run to the hardware store oh it sucks and the same with these i mean there's you know the big ones they're doing three five dollars a piece and then the small ones a dollar a piece i mean that means this five dollar box was three hundred dollars in grommets which they had these brackets and i wish i would have looked at it or they said small block uh brackets and i need some and so i was like ah whatever i'll just buy these and then I got the box and it was all chrome and whatever. It's just not, that's not really for me. So maybe I'll end up selling these. I got some of these adjustable reamers, pose clamps, a ton of these tie down clamps and the same deal. If, if you need these, it's really nice to have them in stock. The main reason I went is because I got that new compressor and I wanted some water separator regulators. If you've never dealt with an air compressor. These get really expensive. I looked these up, they're like 260 a piece. It's hard to find information on them. If anyone knows much about the Star Company, these did go kind of pricey. Uh, the Amish actually really wanted them, so I'm not really sure what they're doing, but then it has all these extra fittings, which is nice to have. I'll run one of the water filters on the compressor itself, and then I'll probably, if that works good enough, I'll just run one more on the blast cabinet. Oh, that was pretty cheap. And if you've been watching the videos, I've been having this hood and fenders in the way. And so I I had sold those at the auction for the same amount of money I spent at the auction. So basically, it was all free because I wasn't going to use those parts anyway. I had to end the video here because uh, I had to do some other things before I could plug in the air compressor. Um, I got some pipes, some three-quarter inch pipes so i'm gonna run all my line up across the back of the garage and then run my air water separators on that end but to do that i'm gonna go ahead and insulate and drywall the garage it's something that i've been wanting to do i was definitely gonna do before winter but i'm at a stage where i should do it now that way i can run all the plumbing up there and then not have to mess with it i have to also make a 220 plug on this side my breaker is on the other side of the wall here so i got some fittings and everything for that and then i got some a uh, rubber line for the back that way you can move the compressor around a little bit and the vibration so now what i gotta do is move all my stuff out of the way and i don't have much space obviously you can tell the 36 is turned into a storage like like everyone else's project i'm gonna get all that out of the way throw some drywall and then we can get the compressor running then we can get back on the 36 so hopefully next week all 36. Mm -hmm.